day for months. <laughs> I think somehow it was, it was, it was a little different though. <laughs> I'm not sure, but uh, thank you all uh, so much for coming out today. You know, uh, it's, it's, it's been a heck of a year for me and you know, losing was certainly tough. Uh, it was almost a month ago today. Uh, but I knew that, you know, I knew immediately I was going to be voting for India. And after licking my wounds and kind of recovering and really thinking about why I got into this, and that's for the city of Knoxville. And if I think someone is significantly better, I need to do what I can to get them elected. And that is <laughs> levels of our government. So I do not think some integrity is something we should ever take for granted. It is something that's so important, and I know it's important to her, and whether you've agreed or disagreed, if you've seen her on the school board, you know uh, she's honest and doing it for the right reasons. And And that's the other thing. I really believe she is in it because she loves her neighborhood, she loves her community, and she loves Knoxville. And that is so important. Uh, you know, I have a joke. I, I say, you know, politicians are just uh, men who want to be famous, but they weren't good musicians or good athletes. <laughs> and then uh, female politicians, these are people that really care about the community. <laughs> I met with India a couple, uh, two weeks ago about, I told her this joke and she laughed really loud. And then she goes, oh, but not you. <laughs> I said, no, no, me too. Uh, but, that's, but that's so important to me that, that you're really in it for the right reasons. Number two is intelligence. Uh, if you've ever met with India or seen her at a forum or dealt with her, you know her decision-making process, her ability to articulate that. I think that is so important. You know, in all, we had a number of forums. I remember after the first forum, we were preparing for the next forum, and one of the people helping me said, well, you need to sound as smart as India on that answer. <laughs> <laughs> like, you know, as politicians, we have fragile egos. <laughs> uh, but, it, but really, you know, I think that's so important and will really serve her well. Uh, as mayor and watching somebody during a campaign you learn so much about them I think it's an important part of the preparation for the job of public service you deal with a lot of criticism a lot of different issues challenges watching her do that I'm confident she will be a great mayor and then last of the eyes is issues uh, you know and a lot of people said this about the forums we just agreed so much whether it's uh, the vision for public safety in the police department to land use and zoning, we really agree on a lot of the issues. And more important than that is the vision for the future. I thought about vision, didn't start with an eye, but it's got two eyes in it. Uh, the vision for the future, and I think the first step in that is understanding the success Knoxville has had the last 15 years. And I know she understands that projects like this local development, small businesses, nonprofits coming together parcel by parcel, improving our city. Uh, I think she understands that. I think she also understands as we go forward and Knoxville continues to grow, we need to make sure it's not just about the streets and brick and mortar. It's about lifting people up. And it's about making sure. <laughs> struggling we've got a lot of challenges but significantly taking on challenges like affordable housing uh, really taking on homelessness improving the people's lives people that call Knoxville home now I know she's committed to that so 
Uh, for these reasons, I'm proud to endorse Indy Cannon. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you voted for me and you're undecided, please vote for her. Take a look at her website. Call her. Uh, I think you're going to really like what you see. If you've already decided, fantastic. Make sure you vote and make sure your friends and neighbors vote. Uh, I really feel this is going to be a, a turnout election and, it, and this is a big deal. This is about the future of our city and how we want it to be for the next eight years. So uh, it's incumbent upon all of us. We all know people that didn't vote in August. Well, they have an opportunity to have their voice heard on November 5th. So make sure they vote. Make sure they vote for Indy King Cannon. And now I'd like to introduce uh, my choice to be the next mayor of the city of Knoxville, Indy King Cannon.